Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is August 27th, 27th day of the August Nico Day Challenge. Congrats to yourself if you've made it this far. You're almost to the end. Just a couple more days. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, chat about this poem out of poems. Okay, longest uncommon subsequence, too. Given a way of strings to stir return the length of the longest uncommon subsequence between them. What is the longest uncommon subsequent? Negative one in the down. Subsequ an uncommon subsequence between an array of strings is a string that is a subsequence of one string but not the others. A subsequence of a string S is a string that can be obtained by deleting any number of characters from S. ABC can be able What does that mean? <laughs> I still have to read this. Uh, longest uncommon subsequence. Can I give an example? Okay, I guess this is an example, but ABC. Yeah, this is. Th these are too many words. And to know what they're really asking for. Okay. Now, I usually solve these live, so if it's a little bit slow, just watch it on a faster speed. Let me know what you feel. Um, and apparently, this is one of the slower ones because reading is hard, and I just woke up. Okay. Subsequence. Then. The longest uncommon subsequence between them. What does that mean? A string that is a subsequence of one string, but not the others. Isn't that just the longest string? I stop. So isn't mm, what is the constraints? Oh, okay. So the constraints are very low, so we can brute force it. But it seems like it would just be the longest string, right? Uh, as. as well, you you can do the longest string and then you do a naive check just to see that if the longest string is not identical to another string and then you kind of go down the list that way. Yeah, right? I think that's right. Uh, this is such a reading problem that I'm not sure. Um, but given that each string, oh, there are only 50 strings and there's only 10 in the longest string. I'm just going to do it in the brute force way. Uh, the first thing to notice is that we can sort by um, the length of the string. Oh, whoops. Did I, I set up. Whoops. Um, reversed. And then you can probably do something smarter about this with with I don't know anything, but like I said, each character, each string only has 10 characters, so I'm just going to do it naively. For word intro to do. So at the very end, we turn negative one, but. I mean, they have to be identical, right? For it to be not to return a negative one in this case. So let's just say good is equal to true. I mean, I think in theory you can do something like with forward to. Um, hmm, maybe I could handle this a little bit better. Uh, let's just call it I and J. I've been very, I've been calling everything index these days. Kind of, I don't know if that's easier to read. Um, what's it called? Range of from I plus one to N where n is the length of strings, then if word sub i is equal to word sub j, then good is equal to false. And the reason is because if, so i by definition has to be longer than, uh, or longer or equal to j, right? Because, and if, if the length of word j is smaller than i, then obviously it's not going to be inside it. Um, no, I, I think that doesn't, I mean, 
it makes sense going that way, but I think you still have to check J versus smaller eyes. So I think this is this logic is reasonable, but not not actually. Okay, fine. Oh, actually, I think this is still good. If no good, no, not good. No good. Uh, not uncommon. Or uh, if uncommon. So our candidate is currently I, and we're seeing to see if word I lives within word J. Uh, if this is true, then good is equal to false. We can break. If good, then we return the length of word. Uh, and then we'll do just do this uncommon thing. Um, what's it called? I forget which. Mm, I guess it's not really a needle in a haystack, but let's just call it uh, X Y. Uh, too lazy. Naming things is hard. And then now we can just do index X is zero zero, index Y is zero zero. Um, maybe. Hmm. Maybe. Length of all right, we can just assume that the length of word sub j is greater than or equal to length of oops, uh, length of word sub i, otherwise. Yeah, otherwise it's smaller than you can really fit into it. Um, link of y, oh no, link of x. Um, while i y is less than link of y, and hmm, uh, this is just a two pointer thing, but I'm just really bad at implementing right now. Um, huh? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Mm. And uh, let's see, what am I doing? I think it's just my in my variable names are very terrible right now, to be honest, which is why. Um, I think this is roughly right. Uh, my coding is very terrible this morning. I don't know if this is right though, um, because this is so awkward. Oh, did I get those signs wrong? I think this is wrong. This is true, and this is false. Oops. Because this is true, we're able to get to the end of the other string. Oh wait, huh? No, no. When we get to the other string, then I think I uh, had to think about how I'm handling this. Um, hmm. So if you're getting through both strings. That means that they're not. Loop. So I think this is good. This should be. Uh, I think my, my my logic here is just good. Uh, found is equal to false. Uncommon found is equal to true. If not found, okay. I think this is good. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. String index out of order. How can this be out of order? Oh, uh, whoops. Wow, how did that happen? Hmm. Eh, okay. It's because I never used this stirs thing. How did that even run the first time? Hmm. Okay, anyway, okay, still wrong, but. Uh, 
Let's see. Hmm, let's see. If it goes to the end, then they don't care. About it. That's just true. Otherwise, it's true. Hmm. 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 Uh, sorry, friends. I think I feel like the logic is easy, but I'm. Well, I mean, easier. This is such a weird problem in general. But this part I should not have any trouble with. Oh, uh, okay. That's just dumb. Um, if I is not equal to J and this, okay. I should, yeah, because I I switched it from I plus one to N, and I didn't think about. I just didn't think it through. Uh, okay, let's give it a go. I don't know if this is right because this reading of this problem is just so such a weird problem, to be frank. But uh, okay, seems like it's good, so I'm happy about that. Um, you can do some optimizations for sure. For example, I think you can and write this in a way that is much smarter. Um, but but given that n is fifty and um, l is ten, this is going to be fast enough. And you don't even need to sort. I think to be honest, I just sorted it. Uh, tank. Uh, the way I sorted, it, you can actually t early terminate if the length is smaller. But we I didn't actually implement that. So yeah. Um, what is the complexity? This is O of N, this is O of N, so this is N square, um, at least, and uncommon is also O of L, so this is going to be N square L, uh, O of N square times L, and in terms of space, we don't use any extra space, do we? I guess we saw it, so I, which we don't really use, so you can remove this line and, and pretend this line doesn't exist, and then this space is going to be constant. Um, yeah. Eh. I guess that's all I have. I don't know. This is a very weird problem. I think it's just one of those weird logic ones. Uh, I can imagine a lot of people are not fans of this this one. Um, I think it's just yeah, the wording is just so I don't know. Maybe I just woke up too, so I don't know. But uh, but yeah, let me know what you think because this is definitely a weird one. This is one of those like tricky, cutesy, silly problems. Uh, I will see you later. Take care. Uh, stay good. Stay healthy. Have a great weekend. I'll see you later. And to good mental health. Bye-bye. <laughs>